Now here comes Touch of Silver. Making its way in for the running of the Penfolds handicap. The red light has been activated. And they're racing as well. Old corporate larrikin, though, sprung the gates first of all, and he's going to lead them through the first 100 metres over Dutch by Patristic and also Grey Enigma wider out. Bella's Idol fires up near the inside soon after the start from Strike Force. My Greek boy, Touch of Silver, the favourite's going to be parked out. The back of the field last in the early stages. Mystery miss by Pike as they head by the 1200. And so out to the riverside of the course they go. Corporate larrikin led the way a half a length over Grey Enigma, fired up there to sit at the old boy's girth. A length and a half away, Bella's Idol, who's over on the inside of Dutch Spy. There's no luck at all, though, for Patristic. It found itself trapped and working three deep, being trailed in turn by My Greek Boy. Back between horses, Strike Force, and then Touch of Silver, who's over on the fence, and a length and a half away last of all is the favourite, Mystery Miss. And so at the 700, they race. It's Corporate Larrikin, still a half a length on Grey Enigma, who's providing real pressure here to the leader with one and a half to Bella's Idol down on the inside. Dutch Spy getting the run of the race. No luck, Patristic feeling the pinch around it, having to come four wide. My Greek boy, Touch of Silver, searching for a run behind them. So strike force. Now, where's Pike? Back there. He's last of all. He might have to call upon that old pogo stick to get through them. Grey Enigma had hit the front from Dutch Spy. Corporate Larrikin. And back on the outside, Touch of Silver. Here comes the split for Mystery Miss. He saw the eye of the needle open. And look at a burst through. Mystery Miss shot to the lead from Touch of Silver. Oh, it was a bit of a leap. Bell all over again. Came away here and won it easily, Mystery Miss. Second placing Touch of Silver from Bella's Idol. Followed further back by My Greek Boys Strike Force. And then came on the inside Dutch by Grey Enigma. Corporate Larrikin well back. And Patristic will sleep well after a nightmare of a run wide on the course. Mystery Miss cluttered up behind a wall of horses. And he found the narrowest of openings to get through. He poked the nose there in the gap, saw the daylight, and uh, then bullocked his way through, and uh, it was all over. She wrote number nine, Mystery Miss. William Pike in the saddle, getting home 280, 130 from Touch of Silver, 250 and six, Bella's Idol in third placing. For Peter's investments, and that is now 10 rides, six wins, three placings, for William on Mystery Miss. He really has an affinity with her and uh, needed that little bit of luck, but he creates his own. There was half a gap. It became a gap. And then the race became his. 137.44, 36.52 the sectional, a length and a half and a neck. The margins 9.26 with four. My Greek boy in fourth placing. A fine win by Mystery Miss, who's back in the winner's circle for the first time in this uh, preparation. Of course, we do remember that railway stakes, that famous railway stakes, when Pike had nowhere to go with Elite Bell. There he was with nowhere to go. And then all of a sudden, after he found his pogo, he was able to get through the opening and uh, win a Group 1. This is no Group 1, but it was a very similar type of ride all the same. Race 6, the Cool Ridge Handicap. We're on at 2.38 for the next event of the day. Number 11, Altamont, is the scratching. And it's 4 7 12, one Tollman over Cocky Dodd on the Terps and King Blitz. I think the winner's a bit well concealed here in race number six. With correct weight to come very shortly after the running of race number five.